Hey, 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 everybody, what is up? Serial Overdrive here, and today I'm playing Entropia Universe. I'm going to do a mining run on Arcadia, but this time we're not doing it for profit. This is just something to visually stimulate you guys while I talk about something else. Loot theory, right? So, in Entropia, you've got loot, okay? A loot's worth a PED value. That PED value comes from somewhere. It comes from other players playing the game, and you. The money you put in comes out and that's how you get whatever loot you get, right? So the question is how how is it calculated? How is like the loot pool, the amount of loot that you can potentially get calculated, right? There's a few different theories, right? But first, let's go over what we know. So the first thing we know is loot is based on planet, right? Or based on planets. I know this because there's, you know, Arcadia deeds, Combat deeds, CLD deeds, or Calypso land deeds. So that means that somehow the loot differs by planet. Um, a lot of people have said this too. They'll say like Arcadia right now is dropping pretty well. Everybody's here. There's a lot of people here. There's a lot of people mining here. You can see that just by looking at the deeds. And that means that the loot's up, if that makes sense. The more people, because, so I guess the question is, one of the questions is, how how does Mindark or whoever's running the planet get their money? You'd assume it's percentage-based. You'd assume that they're making 1%, 2%, 3% off of everything. Every probe drop, they get 1% to 2 to 3% of that, right? And then the rest of it might go to the loot pool. But what if they have control over that percentage, like a landowner, right? So if they have control over that percentage, maybe Arcadia right now is dropping more loot because whoever's in charge decided that they just want to get less, they're going to take a smaller percentage, everybody's going to get bigger loot, and hopefully there'll be more money available. So there's a lot of questions like this flowing, right? Items are limited based on how much you can loot. There's always a chance that you can loot any item in game. This was stated as a fact once upon a time that if an item exists in game, there's a chance that you can loot it. That chance might be one in a zillion, but there's a chance. Interesting, right? Now, let's get into some more specific theories, okay? So, obviously loot's divided by planet but then the question is is it divided by server maybe so for instance there might be multiple servers here right you can see generally you can see like texture issues at least on low low end computers you can see texture change right where the server borders are so maybe loot isn't a pool based on that server which would make sense because then it makes calculations easier and if it is, that means that each server has its own loot pool. Now, all of this, I'm going to talk about how this can be applied later, but that's one theory, okay? So, another theory, and these can all be combined and mishmashed however you want. Another theory is that loot is based on craft. There's a different loot pool for crafting, mining, and hunting. Now, this is probably likely, because generally, before Big Hoff or Big ATH, all time high, you're gonna see loot decrease. So if you're hunting, your loot might go down a little bit, and then you're gonna see some big hunting loot. Of course, there's gotta be build up to it, so maybe it's just coincidence. You don't know. That's the insane thing about this game. It's very hard to get a comparison because there's very little information out there, and no one player can actually figure it out. It would take a group of players, and then you've gotta make sure that nobody's like, messing with the system so generally you can't figure out loot okay but anyways that's one theory that each each one is divided by profession and you could still you could divide it by profession and by server that's possible it can also be divided based on the mob that you're hunting um so if you're hunting whatever these things are that goes into one loot pool and the more people hunting it the more money in that loot pool right now a lot of you are probably hearing this and you're thinking, okay, how can I make money with this? Because 
it doesn't matter how big the pool is you're always pulling out roughly the same percentage or roughly the same amount right but the advantage here is for those big loots okay like the hoffs the eths the globals the more people putting into a pool the more of those that are going to be dished out so i think theoretically if someone's complaining about an area a mob or profession having a low return then maybe you should actually get in there and start using like mining hunting crafting whatever because a lower than normal return let's say let's, i gotta make that caveat if it has a lower than normal return maybe that means it's saving up for a hoff or an ath and maybe when you see that you can start mining maybe you'll make a profit i don't know all of this is theory none of this is known so some other theories right for me i think i've talked about this mining i like to mine by mobs and by pvp okay two different reasons right if you're mining by mobs i think they want to i don't know i i have nothing to explain it but usually if i'm mining by high level mobs i'll get better loot and i'm not sure it could just be a coincidence again because there's a lot of high level mobs out there maybe high level mobs are just high level mining areas too and because of that you're gonna get better loots because there's gonna be higher markups you're getting higher level stuff and it feels like you're making a lot more but you're really not you're getting the same tt value it's just when you go to sell it to a reseller you get more now that's possible pvp i like to go to because i feel like the ammo that's shot right whether you're shooting in a player or you're shooting in an animal or mob that goes into the pool okay and pvp is special because like lootable pvp to keep the hunters into it they need miners right so some of the ammo that hunters waste shooting at miners i think goes into the loot pool for miners because then it beefs up their finds a little bit it encourages them to come there and that encourages hunters to come to pvp and shoot at players and PvP is definitely profitable for Mind Arc, good for the loot pool, because that's, a lot of the times, that's money being spent that that player's not going to get back. Or if they do, it's through looting another player, and when they loot another player, the loot pool's not paying out because they're just getting that player's loot. So all that ammo just goes purely right into the loot pool, some loot pool. We've established there's a pool, we just don't know how exactly it's calculated. That's what I'm trying to discuss here. So PvP is good for the pool. I think we can all agree on that. Deeds, theoretically, are bad for the pool. I have deeds, I like deeds, I recommend getting deeds, but they're bad for the loot pool. You wanna know why? Because that's a percentage coming out of it and likely Mindark, Arcadia, Calypso, all these people don't really wanna lose a percentage to landowners. So the best way to do deeds without losing a percentage is to take it from the hunter the player which again that sucks but uh what can you do right um this also deeds are also a great way to fund stuff it's a great way to get money if you saw like with compats that's literally i think how they funded that game they just or funded part of the game they just had the players buy deeds so well i don't like it and I do think it takes from the loot pool. And it's money and a percentage that MA and Arcadia are never going to get back. I think they're positive. Maybe slightly bad for the loot pool, but positive overall because a lot of the big players own it. A lot of the little players own it too. And it's, I don't know. I think it's cool. It means everybody's got skin in the game, right? That means that when I make videos, even if, I'm not modernizing the videos just by getting more players into the game, helping players out. Uh, I'm making a little bit in these. So, you know, Entropia succeeds, we all succeed. That's cool. I like that. Now, let's see. Another theory I've got, mining by water is better. No reason behind that. Um, one thing I like to think of, so another thing to consider is that items are sort of balanced out in game there can only there's they only want to have so many of one item in game and that means that when an item is first released it's probably going to drop more frequently for instance right uh vigilante foot guards when foot guards first came out i was 
around and they were dropping like crazy i don't think they drop as much anymore but they used to drop a lot more because mind arc needed to get those things out there so that players would buy them so that players could have full sets of armor and so that players could hunt more effectively so i think when there's a new item if you find out what mob drops that item it's good to hunt that mob because a loot pool doesn't change you're gonna get the same loot um you know there's no there's no cost to mind arc right like a foot guard could be a 10 pec foot foot guard it might be less value than an actual uh you know good loot but maybe it has a markup of like plus a million or something like that and in reality you just struck it rich um i don't know things like that are interesting to think about and that's one way you can sort of exploit the game and exploit the loot pool because part of the loot pool is what it drops and what it drops i think is dependent on what's in the game so for foot guards and stuff like that when it first comes out mind arc needs to get that item out into the game in mass because otherwise it's not fair to hunters because they're taking excess damage for that so what's the solution increase the drop rate for a bit um just playing the game there's a few things you can notice and i've seen errors where for instance um in one case mining globals went through the roof i don't know why probably a mis mistype in the code but basically it added an extra zero to everybody's loot size so instead of getting a 10 ped loot you get 100 ped loot instead of getting you know five peds you get 50 it was great everybody loved it and the game was online for two minutes before they pulled it back down and fixed the bug everybody got to keep what they found i didn't find anything unfortunately but one thing to consider about that bug is it shows us that well I guess what I should say is hunting wasn't affected. It was just mining. So that shows us that there is a differentiation between the two. I don't know. Again, the systems could be connected. I feel like they're not. I feel like they're not. And I feel like just based on servers and sort of how, how the world's divided up, that the loot might be divided by server. Outside of that, I can't say very much. These are just some ideas. I'm throwing them out there. And basically, you guys can sort of figure out how to use those to create your own custom style, create your own custom uh, loot theory. It's just like conspiracy theories. It's a lot of fun to talk about, a lot of fun to think about, and honestly, you're never wrong, which is always fun. So, yeah, hopefully you guys liked the video. I'm hoping this is another video that'll encourage people to comment below because I want to hear what your theories are. I want to hear what I missed. I want to hear why I'm wrong. I want to hear why one of my theories is out of date or why it's wrong 100%. By the way, just to, uh, actually, I've got old stuff. I was going to tell you, see how much I made, but um, actually, I can tell you. So I did 50 PED mining run. Or sorry, I did 25 PED mining run before. Um, it was a video that I probably put out before this one. So I did mining run before, got 20 PEDs. This one was another 25 PEDs. And I made 17 on it. Uh, I can just tell that based on the total amount. You know, 37 minus 20, 17 PDs. Bigger loss than the last one, but I had fun talking about it. I hope you guys enjoyed the loot theory video. I hope you guys have some comments for me. And I hope I'm not too ill-informed. Anyways, also I hope it makes sense. Anyways, as always, hit that like button. Hit that sub button if you haven't subbed. And uh, I look forward to the comments. Peace.